entire class of U.S. Soviet nuclear missiles is eliminated. It means that the era of nuclear disarmament has begun. We will stay the course and we will succeed. Denying that? We have discussed what it already. What more do you want, Livingston? Enough! You disobeyed a direct order, Mr. Marshall, when it was clear your op was compromised. With all due respect, sir, you weren't there. And the group that compromised you, the Pantheon. You sure that's who they were? That's what Alawi called them. When are you gonna tell us what's really going on here? I'm asking the questions, Mr. Woods. Sir, if you read the report, you I read your report, Ms. Harrow. Some of it I still find hard to believe. That's why we're going to go over events again. Only this time, I want to hear it from Marshall. From the beginning. We were in position near the Iraq-Kuwait border. Small team, me, Harrow, and Case. <laughs> Allow he is ahead of schedule. Whoever he's meeting won't wait around for long. No, not if it's a smuggler. I'm sure Allow has paid top dollar to get himself out of the Middle East. Guess it doesn't really matter. He's coming with us. Outlaw 42, we've got our eyes on the convoy. Paying the target, over. Roger, ground. Target confirmed. Waiting on your go. Over. Do it. Outlaw 42, you're clear to engage. Out. Let's go get him. Copy, ground. Engaging it out. Here comes the traffic jam. Exactly. Is that us? 
No, it's not Iraqi either. Pantheon. Pantheon? We need to leave. You won't stand a chance against them. They haven't spotted us. Let's keep it that way. Come on. Let me get this straight, Mr. Marshall. The group you claim to be, the Pantheon, was a multinational, heavily armed paramilitary force that showed up out of the blue. At this point, you're told to wait for backup, but you decide to play cowboy instead. We had to act fast. Our window Ms. was Harrow, closed. did he or did he not disobey your order? Yes, sir, but the accelerated timetable That's what I thought. I've come to expect this from you, but not from you. Sir, our objective was to recover Alawi by any means necessary. Oh, I'm aware. So, care to explain why he's on a slab in the morgue right now? Things got complicated. Who are these people? The Pantheon is composed of former European and US operatives. I don't know who leads them. They're blocking our exfil. We call in reinforcements of weight. Wait? The hell with that. Barrage, come in. Where did your way? No, we're compromised. Alawi will slow us down. Alawi, you going with us to the Pantheon? I'm going with you. Damn it, Troy. Smart man. Okay, so let's start by softening them up. Get to work, Case. That's our opening. Let's punch through it. Getting close. Barash, come in. Are you sure he'll be there? You just worry about not slowing us down. We're open targets down here. Pantheon could pick us apart. Ugh! <sighs> 
Wait till Woods gets a load of this. Goddamn Russell Adler. CIA traitor. He been on the run for 10 months? Marshall, huh? Woods' new project. You can ease up, son. I'm all done here. Jane? You just killed a high-value target in cold blood and put our national security at risk. Halawi can't fall into the Pantheon's hands or Langley's. The CIA is compromised. But it's not me. I'm just the fall guy. You expect us to believe that? Hey, Jane, you want to tape his mouth shut for me? Yes. Wait. I got a message for Woods. Oh, yeah? Tell him Bishop takes Brooke. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Time to go. In the truck! Case, you got the launcher? We'll shoot him down. There, on our six. You can't outrun this! Take him out! Run that bird out of the sky, Case! What the hell are you waiting for? to add? Sir, despite breach of conduct and losing Alawi, apprehending Russell Adler is a categorical windfall. Yes, Ms. Harrow. Bringing in a rogue operative is certainly a win. Russell Adler, the mole who betrayed us in Panama, the man responsible for your current condition, Mr. Woods. So why was he trying to tell you something in Kuwait? Bishop takes Rook. Any idea what that means? No clue. OK, then. Based on Harrow's reluctant report and the withholding of critical information regarding Russell Adler, your team is suspended. Are you for real? This is bullshit. As for you, Ms. Harrow, consider yourself on very, very thin ice. People like me and Adler are the reason we ain't speaking Russian right now. The Cold War is over. Mr. Woods. That makes you and Russell Adler the last global gunslingers of a bygone era. Take this time to reflect on that. Dismissed. All of you. My office in five. I'd advise you not to pursue this further, Marshal. You kept him. Not all reminders need to be scars. <clears throat> Why are we here, Harrow? Because you know something? Care to tell me what it is you're up to? Me and the kids just need some time away. You know, take a little trip. Reflect a little. Look, I can cover your asses on my end best I can. But if things go sideways again, you're on your own. Copy that. Oh, you one. One? Yeah. Try a dozen. Do me a favor, Troy. Don't get yourself killed. I'll see what I can do. Bishop takes Rook. Of course, Woods knew what it meant. Adler was pointing us somewhere. The Black Sea. According to Woods, 15 years ago, he and Adler discovered an abandoned KGB safe house in Bulgaria. It was called the Rook. Last year, before Adler disappeared, 
he'd been chasing rumors of a dangerous paramilitary group, one receiving orders from inside the CIA. He believed the Pantheon was developing a new type of weapon with plans to unleash something the world had never seen before. And wouldn't you know it, soon evidence surfaced incriminating Adler himself, and he fled to this place. What we found here over the last couple days has changed everything. Now I'm questioning what I believed about Adler, about Livingston, about the CIA itself. I have my doubts about going dark on Jane. Woods might be right about her value on the inside, but she'll be in the crosshairs if Langley learns what we're up to. Adler brought us here for a reason, to stop the Pantheon before they strike. To do that, Woods believes we'll need him back. That won't be easy. But Adler left a name to follow. It's a good place to start. No more wasting time. You know the plan. Savati Duma, the person you're gonna meet. Still no idea why Adler was in contact with her, but a lead's a lead. We can't trust her. I doubt if Adler did. Hell, for all we know, she's part of this fucking Pantheon thing. Who can we trust? Duma agreed to meet Case in Avalon, so we're doing this. Well, well, well. Look at you putting your big boy pants on. Shouldn't we find Adler before making this call? Well, that's exactly why I'm going to Munich to wine and dine your old friend. Friend? Hardly. I can't stand the son of a bitch, but we need him. Sometimes you just gotta hold your nose. If he's as good as you say he is, by the time Case gets back, we'll have located Adler. If Livingston hasn't already stuffed him in a barrel. Op details are up on the board, Case. I'm headed out, so hit me up soon if you need anything. I've got a few ideas on how we can polish this turd of a safe house case. Let's talk when you have a minute. What's going on, man? Just what we found in Atlas Files. An assassin, maybe 30 years old. Came from one of Avalon's crime factions, the Guild. Appears she was raised through the Guild and then exiled or left, don't know. Whatever it is, Adler was interested, so I am too. Felix Newman's a former Stasi engineer and enforcer. Dude managed to crack the military branch of Arpanet a few years back, so I'm hoping he's got a sequel in him. So far, we've got nothing but Adler's homework. But he could be out of his mind. Whether he is or whether he isn't, those paramilitaries in Kuwait, they were the real deal. Well-armed, coordinated, and motivated. Worried? Jane's smart. Once Langley knows we've skipped town, she'll make excuses for us as long as possible. Until then, comms are gonna put a target on our head, so we'll wait for the time to be right, and then we'll regroup. Am I worried? No. Hell, man, I don't know. Seems hard to believe, but maybe I'm just naive. If Livingston's involved, he could have wanted to add it off the board one way or the other. The man both loves and hates being told what to do. That's a tough motherfucker in there. Lost his legs in Panama, lost his best friend. Langley gave him a chance to help run ops, but between me and you, it's not in his blood. The man's a soldier. Killer. His current situation, maybe he feels like he's on the front line again. You got it. I'll see you back here on Thursday. All right. What kind of life savings you got? <laughs> I 
Ah, uh, no wonder you're still alive, Case. Always serving up the top sirloin of bullshit. I'm gonna cut to it. We can't do shit with this house, considering our money situation. This place might have been fine for Adler, but for a team? I'm thinking overhaul. An armory. Place to train. Air bench. Not to mention anything else we might end up needing. There's that won't be free, though. Marshall found a few grand stashed in one of the rooms upstairs. Other than that, we're starting fresh. No touching our own bank accounts, either. Someone will be watching. When you're on a mission, look around for any cash lying around. You're gonna Robin Hood your way through this. Steal from the rich and give to the poor. That's me. We were following an old KGB trail and a single recording let us here. Seemed abandoned. When we asked our mole inside the KGB about it, he knew nothing. Belikov thought maybe it was some kind of splinter group, not sanctioned by the Central Committee. Whatever it was, it doesn't look like a red-stepped foot in here since 1968. Yeah, I don't think he wanted to get others involved. Looks like he was working on a trust list. As far as I can tell, he didn't contact anyone. That's probably why Adler was talking to Dumas, keeping it outside of Langley. We're gonna do the same, at least for now. The board behind me is how we'll track our spending. Give it a look. Just tell me where you want to spend the cash, and I'll set it up. Adler didn't leave much intel on Savati Dumas, but I can tell you a thing or two about Avalon. It's a playground for the filthy rich, and crime factions run the whole city. Everyone's looking for who to push off the slide. When they pick a target, they hire someone like Savati. She used to be part of the Guild, one of the most powerful Avalon factions, but now she freelances. Savati said that Adler hired her to follow a Pantheon trail. So you're gonna join her on that job tonight. We wanna see firsthand where that trail leads. Maybe we'll even add some muscle to the team. You'll scratch her back, but sure as hell watch your own. Trust is gonna be earned.
His name is Yannick, a broker for the guild. He'll be on his yacht tonight taking a call with the Pantheon. We'll be listening in. Once that call is finished, you'll finish Yannick. That'll draw the target I really want. But first things first. Yannick traffics in weapons, narcotics, women. Whatever pays. Rumor has it the Pantheon wants a relationship with the Guild. So Yannick is testing the waters. He's only our first domino. The real fun starts after we knock him down and get access to the target I really want. Johannes Edi. The bell tower on that church offers an open view of Yannick's yacht. He's throwing a party while his men count money in the church. Close enough to know if you screw this up. Let's see what you're made of, Case. Get to the bell tower. I don't care how. Quiet, loud, just get there. Not bad, Case. You could go for a swim. Avoid some guards. Once we listen to Yannick's call and confirm a Pantheon lead for Adler, I'm declaring open season on the Guild. They have it coming. I should know. I used to work for them. I never cared for Yannick's parties when I was with the Guild. Though they were good practice in how to blend into a scene. Any girl who caught Yannick's eye was in for a long night. So let's cut it short. <laughs> a call from Pantheon any minute. Guards are close. Do it quick. This morning I stashed the rifle at the top of the tower. Remember, Case, don't pull the trigger until we hear his call. We need to confirm any connection to Pantheon. Yannick's near the umbrella, upper deck left side. Surrounded by girls. <sighs> Got your advance. My boys are still counting it. It's all there. Remember, this deal is one and done, huh? Don't need to get mixed up with the CIA. Oh, your pantheon thing. You'll send the hardware tonight, understand? That's not what we agreed to. Tonight, Yannick. Don't test me. So the Pantheon and the CIA are connected somehow. We got what we need. Take the shot. You are a good shot. 
Yannick was just our first domino. We have more work to do tonight. Head back towards the payphone. I'll pull up in a white van. Guards inbound. Word on Yannick got out. Get to the van. That's Gabriel up there. He's cool. They called an emergency meeting at Chateau de la Haute Lune. Three guild leaders will be in attendance to smooth things over with Pantheon. I want to get paid, so we're going to crash that party. Chateau de la Haute Lune! Let's go! The guild will lock the restaurant down and meet in a safe room on the second floor. The door can only be unlocked from the inside. You're gonna help me get that door open. We're a few minutes out yet. Just enough time to get changed. There we are. Fits for guild security. Personally, I want these guild bastards dead. Pantheon's the only the cake for me. This is my stop. Get to the safe room's antechamber on the second floor. An alarm will go off. That's okay. The guild doesn't know you. So your best option is to surrender and play along. When you get inside, wait for my cue.
guild is meeting Pantheon right now. Get inside and find the safe room. Of all the guild assholes meeting tonight, the Sadie is the biggest. If we can't get them, consider me a no for your little club. You heard about Yonik? I heard. It came out of nowhere. Wait for my signal, not before. Timetable's moved up. I want that shipment sent tonight. You CIA types are all the same. And this one? <laughs> Troublemaker. What's going on in there? We have a visitor. Walked right into the lion's den. Alone. Uninvited. Maybe this one works for a rival, huh? Or maybe Pantheon is trying to squeeze us. We came to you, Asaini. We learn the truth one way. <laughs> or another. Show me your visit. <laughs> Go ahead. <sighs> well, look at that. You're a long way from home, Case. This man is extremely dangerous. Kill him immediately. I mean that though.
shield, please! Barking case. Nadler was right. The CIA might be behind Pantheon. Let's hope he isn't right about their mystery weapon. Maybe it's time you take me to this safe house of yours. Got word from Case. Savadi Duma agreed to join us at the Rook, so we're two for two. I'm returning from Munich with Felix Newman. Newman's cut from a different claw, a brutal Stasi enforcer and a tech genius. He used to be a pain in the CIA's ass. That was before he gave the middle finger to the Stasi and defected to West Germany. Newman claims he's moved on from a life of violence and doesn't even arm himself anymore. But one way or the other, he couldn't turn down a chance to stick it to the CIA once again. He'll get that opportunity soon. He's gonna try to break into Langley's network and find out where they're holding Russell Adler. Still haven't warmed up to that sev yet, but hey, at least we didn't get killed in our sleep. Newman's been craking all night. Already got something. Come on. All right, Newman. Care to share? Please, call me Felix. We are all friends here. Yeah, of course. Russell Adler is in your Washington, D.C. black site. The subterranean one that went into operation almost three years ago. DC Black Side. There are blueprints as well. It is located underneath Capitol Station. I assume you're aware of this. I see. Well, it includes a small maximum security wing. That is where you'll find your prize. We need a game plan. You in, right? I wouldn't be sitting here if I wasn't. I'll take that. Newman, Felix, I need to wait into that black site. I'm still investigating vulnerabilities. Good man. Let me know when you got something, okay? Case. The guild took me in as a child, an orphan on the streets of Morocco. They became my family and provided a vision for what I could become, a weapon. I was happy to protect them, to kill for them. Until one day they betrayed my trust. That was it. Someone died because of me, undeservedly. That's all I feel like saying about that. Not many rumors in Avalon get past me. One involved this group you're after. Supposedly the Pantheon is in bed with one of the factions, but I don't know who. Adler thought it might be the Guild. But that doesn't appear to be the case. Whoever it is, maybe it'll be clear in time. Sure.
Daniel Livingston's been planning my retirement party for half a decade. He wants a youth movement inside the CIA. More creative and agile operatives, I recall him saying. If he wasn't the one who framed me, he sure was eager to believe the pile of horseshit that landed on his desk. He can hunt me down as long as he wants, but he'd never think to look inside a former KGB safe house. Even if he knew it existed. <laughs> See, Daniel? I can be creative, too. I want to see what Felix is up to in the ops room. Well, it's been a few months since I went off the grid, but leads have been slow to turn up. Though I do get one anonymous tip out of Avalon. Pantheon may be partnering with one of the major crime factions there, and potentially reaching out to others as well. I've offered a small sum to a one-time asset of mine to follow up. She has an axe to grind there, so I'd be surprised if she turns me down. <laughs> 